And recently, we have seen that you have been creating incredible creatures. And <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you can prepare that link for us to show you a little bit more about the one that, I, that I'm talking about. And, and sometimes yes. people say, oh, it's just about prompts, right? It's just like you have to write such a, in like a short prompt and then you have ready uh, as magic the AI. And I assume it's, it's understanding the process of an artist is uh, is not just that. And, and I will, I'm, I'm very interested about how is your design process to create such yes. incredible AI work because I'm, I'm pretty sure that is not straightforward. Like I just put this problem magically, I obtain no. these type of characters. And then I don't know if you can share with us in the screen because I don't wanna. Yeah, I can share the, this. The trigger, the, the first one that I share, I can show. And is this this video? We did trigger some videos. Okay, can you see the Instagram? So yes. what we were what we were doing at the moment were experiments. Let's call it super abstract in a way, like these ones, for example, and froggies because I've been doing frogs a lot. And this com this one comes from the specifically this one. I did these frogs. I did explore a lot the frogs because I love the frogs a lot. And I told my brother, hey, I need to animate these frogs. I need to animate these frogs. And what happened is that I put myself all the energy to try to animate all these frogs in a proper way. And this is what happened. So So, okay, it's one minute, one minute and a half videos of 30 frogs that we were exploring a lot to work uh, with uh, anime diffusion and other tools. And I must say also, Josue, that 80%, probably 90% of this work is not prompt based. I've It's been more than a year and a half that I don't work with prompting. For me, it's an absolute way to work, specifically with the current AI tools, there are other ways to work and acquire and apply uh, new results. So I know, for example, this is March, is at the end of March. It's been not so long time ago, but in, as I say, in AI calendar, this is so long time ago because I, we work on daily basis, a lot of hours. But this video was the trigger to develop all the tsunami of the images that we built after that. That's it. It's incredible. So actually, I was driven by your creatures, and then I was saying, oh, how? Like, how this has been even... Uh, because, like, some of your work, it doesn't seem like an AI. Like, it has so much consistency in all of the frames that yes. it, it appears to be creatures from an alien world, and then you have the <laughs> ability to do zoom ins and zoom outs and control the position yeah. of the camera I, I and all say, of the I environments must... as well. Yes. I must say also... This is a bit laggy, I know. Also, in, in Instagram or Twitter, I see everything a bit laggy because of the compression. But we used to work at 60 frames per second and 4K. So the quality of these pieces, in, to be honest, it's quite good. My brother did work a lot to obtain an output. Super super good quality in the texturing and everything. And the, move, the movement of the creatures are real somehow this is is confusing for the viewer okay i know this is not real but sometimes some movements are super real somehow how we did build all these things we do use a lot of ai tools most of the work it's ai tools but we blend a lot of ai tools some repositories in config ui for animation and in diffusion we work different models i see models we use loras which means we add an extra touch to the final result. We use scripts for upscaling. The previous image, the, what we use, the, the overall workflow, it's called image to video. So what we do is we build a lot of this pre image previously as the ones I show before. And this is uh, information that we provide to the tool to animate, but these images are processed by different uh, AI tools also. We use Midjourney, we use DALI and or now CREA, real-time CREA tools. So what we do is we build a lot to a final image to drive it into the to the Confi UI, that's stable diffusion at the end. But yeah, probably for obtaining a tiny clip, if we put everything in a row, it takes 30, 35 minutes to a final result.